It's been more than 50 days since the start of that catastrophic spill that has sent millions of gallons of oil flowing into the Gulf of Mexico. And the federal government is reaching into New Jersey for help in protecting wildlife from the pollution there. Now, as Ed Rogers tells us in tonight's environment report, these volunteers are in it for the long haul. The tidal marshes along the Jersey shore are a thousand miles from the oil spill that's devastated the Gulf of Mexico. Clay Stern with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service will soon be headed to the Gulf to help in the agency's effort to protect the birds, sea turtles, and natural areas that are threatened by the spill. This is a spill of national significance, so we're trying to pull as many hands from anywhere we can to address this problem as quickly as possible. So far, three Fish and Wildlife Service workers from New Jersey have been sent to work in the Gulf. The agency put out a nationwide call for workers to volunteer for the deployment. They are sent to the area for two to four week stays. Stern will be assigned to a command center overseeing the response to the spill. We train a lot for these things. We try to uh, be prepared, but when they come to the magnitude of the largest ever, we deal with it one day at a time, and we're in the process right now of planning out over several months uh, coming. So uh, we're going to do the best we can when we get there. Stern doesn't know exactly when he'll be leaving. The 10-year veteran investigates oil spills and other pollution cases for natural resource damages. He worked on the Athos One oil spill in the Delaware River five years ago. He says the Wildlife Service, Coast Guard, and EPA will use a similar command structure to respond to the worst environmental disaster in U.S. history. We'll be working under the same incident command structure. Uh, we're dealing with the same sort of issues of uh, deploying people and moving people around, getting our assets. Uh, in the right place at the right time and recovering the wildlife and getting them cleaned up and working with our partners to facilitate uh, uh, a cleanup to a common goal. More U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service workers from New Jersey are expected to volunteer and be sent to the Gulf in the coming months. Some of the work will include collecting injured or dead animals. It's also possible federal EPA personnel from New Jersey could be sent to the Gulf to relieve their counterparts working on the spill. Ed Rogers, NJN News.